was never any plastic in the ocean through all of recorded history. So none of the organisms that evolved in the ocean evolved to coexist with plastic. This new non-biodegradable synthetic polymer component of ocean water is something that is totally foreign. And so the baseline of the ocean has shifted from a plastic-free environment to one which contains plastic. If you ask the average uh, person where plastic comes from, uh, they won't know. Uh, they perhaps fancy that uh, people are mining plastic. Uh, they don't really know where plastic comes from. We don't have the uh, iconography of steel with the mine mining the ore and the smelter smelting. It was the preceding age, the age of steel uh, preceded the age of plastic. But the age of plastic usurped the age of steel silently and really without anyone noticing it. The question for us is, will we survive or will the estrogenic qualities of plastic make us a one-sex society that will die out because plastic is estrogenically active. If you're a female of childbearing age or an infant, you really don't want to drink your water out of a plastic bottle because it's going to change your sexual characteristics. It's going to give you hormone mimics that your body will recognize as estrogen. We're concerned that we don't know enough about the plastic that is now such an ubiquitous part of our lives. That's why we must have the plastic conversation worldwide. We've got to talk about what we're doing to ourselves with plastic.